welcome to episode 30 of the Roma Revolution and what an episode this could be. Coming up on today's episode, we have a chance to win Silly A and the Champions League with games against Sassuolo and Barcelona. Now, don't fear, if we do win both trophies today, this series will continue. I feel like we haven't quite finished what we started at Roma, so this won't be the last episode if all goes to plan. There obviously is many a factor that could weigh in our favour and mean that we don't win either competition, but we're going to be optimistic and see if we can. Since you were last with me, we've played a couple of silly our games. We beat Brescia 1-0 and then drew one all with Flozin. And after the draw, I thought our title challenge was over. But AC Milan lost to Atalanta. And that means there is two points separating the sides going into today's game. We have Sassuolo. They have Bologna. A draw wins them the title. A loss. And if we win, we win the title. It's going to be a massive game and the team that we're looking to win this title with is this. Fanales in goal, a back five of Miranda, Upper Meccano, Mancini, Tadebo and Bua. Riccardi, Tonali and Pellegrini in the middle with Almada in behind the goal scoring machine, Sebastiano Esposito. Can we do it? Results need to go massively in our favour, but we're going into the last day with a chance a very slim chance of winning the league. Sassuolo, nothing to play for really, but Milan have got Bologna who also don't have anything to pay for. So it's not quite the ideal scenario for us, but it's still a chance, a big chance and one that we should take. Let's go out there and have faith in the boys as always. The assistant will be off to the tunnel and here we go, the final day of the Serie A season. We'll keep an eye on this result here, this league table here. Can we do it? It's going to be a big ask. Bologna need to do us a massive, massive favour. But if they can, then we will pick up our first piece of silverware as Roma manager. And if not, we've still got the chance to do exactly that later on in the episode when we play Barcelona in the Champions League. However, 30 minutes have passed in this one and this is the first highlight. A poor corner in from Pellegrini and a chance for Sassuolo to break. Pereira beats Mancini. He beats Bua. He keeps surging into the area and Farinez held the ball well and distributes it quickly and Tadebo finds Riccardi but we're not going to see any more of that. But Pellegrini with the ball across Tadebo. I think that's hit the bar, I think. Highly unlucky, that was almost the first goal of the game, but not quite to be. But we're looking to push again here. Boo on the right-hand side. It's not quite, but it's back to Pellegrini, to Tadebo. Goes all the way back to Falanez, who has options ahead. Tonali, one of them, to Pellegrini. An awful pass from him. He's having a shocker of a start to the game. And now they're on the attack again through Mateus Pereira, who has a shot from miles out. And if I'm honest, it's one that no one would be proud of. We're going to demand a little bit more at the end of the half for a team that needs to win this game to secure the title. We're not looking like doing so at all. And half time, it's Roma nil, Sassuolo nil. We've played nowhere near well enough and we're going to get aggressive because this second half needs to be much, much better than that. Milan are also 1-0 up against Bologna. They scored just before the break, so things are looking unlikely, but can we do it? Pellegrini loses out again. I think every time we've seen a highlight, he's lost the ball. But Ashley on the ball. Back to Consigli. Esposito's nicked it off him. Pellegrini with a chance to score. He hasn't been able to do so. He's missed a sitter. Pellegrini with all sorts of chances to secure us a 1-0 lead. And he's not been able to do so. Bua on the right. Can he get a ball across? Almada back to Bua. Takes on his man. Esposito behind him. It's not to be. And is this... Just going to peter out into a bit of a nothingness. Bologna have also equalised. There's chances everywhere for us to get this game won. And we're not quite taking them. And I think with just over half an hour to go, there are some changes that need to be made. And big man Esposito not firing when it matters is 
one of them. We're also going to ask for a bit of creativity. We've had enough of the ball to make the most of it. Milan back ahead 2-1. I think the title is slowly but surely tipping away unless there is drama in the last 20 minutes of the silly ah season. Bilagi on the ball then on the right. He's found Chula in the middle. Locatelli now. He's being pressed really nicely and he's had to go all the way back to Chilich's but they've got a route out down the right hand side. Through Pereira now who's caused us all sorts of trouble. Can Bua beat Chula to it? He can't. They're in. They've scored but I think it's going to be ruled out for offside. We've really not been good enough and the concern is here. A poor result like this will kill the confidence for the Champions League but Pellegrini towards the back post. Tonali can't can't quite get his head on it, but it's fallen back to Pellegrini. Tadebo heads over. Oh, the chances are coming thick and fast, but we're not taking any of them. And as time ticks by, 15 minutes to go, we're going to go very attacking and we're going to look at the last couple of changes. Miranda's been poor on the left. Valia can come on for him. And I am going to take Pellegrini off. He seemed to have lost the ball quite a lot. Riccardi can go into that slot there. And now Milan a 3-1 up. The title is theirs, but it would be nice to finish on a win in a game which has certainly gone in our favour, apart from when it's come to in front of goal. And here we go. Pereira for them. Barashi heads over. It was almost written in the script for them to score. 5-1 now, Milan. They did it when it mattered. We haven't been able to do so. And another draw in our silly ass season. And that, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, is that... And these sorts of results are the exact reason why we have not won the title. Really disappointing. Hopefully, we'll be better for the Champions League final against Barcelona. And I will see you for that in a second. And what a game it could be. Here we go then. It's time for the Champions League final. Roma's second Champions League final in their history. They lost the first one. Can we do one better and give them their first Champions League title? A couple of changes from the team that drew with Sassuolo. A bit of experience comes in at the back. Sergio Ramos for Upamecano obviously has played in plenty of Champions League finals and come out on the right side of them. So he's in and he is the only change to play on side Mancini and Tadiba at the back. Can we do it? Barcelona have won it five times. So we have a big ask to beat them. I've just realised I can pick some more substitutes. So give me a moment. Sorry about that. The joys of the final giving us 12 subs instead of seven. Here we go then. We're underdogs, but let's go and give those Roma fans something to cheer for. As always, we've got faith in the boys. The assistants off to the tunnel. And here we go. We've taken some scalps along the way. We've taken both the Manchester clubs. We've beaten Liverpool. Barcelona is all that stands between ourselves and the Champions League trophy. And Esposito sends Almada on his way in the sixth minute. Has he been brought down for a penalty early on? It's gone to VAR and they've given us a penalty and a chance to go 1-0 up in the final through Thiago Almada. The young Argentine scores! What a start for Roma. Six minutes in, it's 1-0 Roma. And could we be witnessing... The thing we set out to do right at the start of this series and that was win Roma their first Champions League title. There's a long way to go but a lot of weight was on young shoulders there and he slotted it away beautifully. Sadio Mane obviously formerly of Liverpool has nodded wide for them. They've got an unbelievable team. They've topped Serie A. Uh, La Liga rather. They've smashed that out the park. They're looking for the double but... We're standing in their way at the moment, but they are breaking through Kovacic and he's gone round Bura as if he's not even there. Fanez with a great save, tips it over the bar and it remains Roma 1, Barcelona 0. It looked like it was going to be a chance for us from the corner, but it came to them instead and we've got a free kick. There was a push in the box on Tadebo and it remains at 1-0. A little penalty early on, a bit of a soft goal, I suppose, that we've scored. But we'll take soft goals in a final if it means we're going to win the game. And we're looking good. We've not let Barcelona dominate us with regards to shots, etc. too much. We've held our own. And that can only surely be a positive going forward. Ramos 
just providing that bit of experience at the back as well is maybe being a leader out there and guiding us through the final. But as we get to half time, a fairly even game so far. It's Roma 1, Barcelona 0. And as it stands, we are 45 minutes away from winning this trophy. Let's not get complacent. Let's say that we can still improve and we've got faith in them as always. Let's get them motivated for the second half. Here we go. Can we do it? One of European's biggest clubs. And we're just about pipping them at the moment. We're going to ask for a bit of passion to begin this second half with. A couple of the young boys out there may be struggling on the big occasion, but there is plenty of experience on the bench. But Pellegrini looks for Esposito at the back. The top scorer currently in the competition. And he almost got another there, but he's headed just over. And with half an hour to go, let's look at changing a few things up. The first thing I'm going to do, Miranda and Bua are both going to drop back into a more of a conventional five. Just make us a bit harder to break down at the back. Pellegrini in one of his first or the first Champions League final he would have featured in. He's not having his greatest game. He's been great for us all season, but he can come off now for Cristante. That's the only sub we'll make at the moment, but there's a couple more we can make later on in the game if we wish. We're going to stay with this for now. And can we just see it out? Can we grind out a 1-0? And we've got a deep free kick. Esposito taking it, which is perhaps a person we'd like forward. But he's taking it cheekily. And if he's on side, Thiago Armada would have just scored the second goal. And I think he's off. Oh, it was so close. It was really well worked from Esposito. And Thiago Armada must be dead on the line. He's slotted it away beautifully. He's played a really good game in the final. And that looked like it may well have been two, but it wasn't to be. And now we need to make a change at the back because Miranda has picked up a knock. And that means that Alessandro Florenzi, I think, we can get on on the left. Actually, no, we've got Wagu on the bench, haven't we? He can come on. He's not too bad on the left. So he'll play on the left. 15 minutes to go. One goal in it. We're going to just ask for a bit of creativity to finish. It's been a really dead, even game. Something like a penalty to separate it is giving it credit where it's due. Tonali with an awful ball. Kukulea, the man who we had on loan with us last year, cuts it out, but only as far as Riccardi. And Thiago Almada has scored a second. And that is surely the Champions League trophy coming back to the Stadio Olimpico. And what a season this would be if we can keep this going. Almada to Stegen should be saving. It's an awful place to be beaten at his near post. But with 10 minutes to go, the hero of the, the season now is Thiago Almada. Patrick Sheet can come on from Esposito just for the final 10 minutes or so. We'll drop back to balanced. We've got a two-goal cushion with 10 minutes to go. We can never count our chickens before they've hatched. But this looks like the Champions League is coming back to the Stadio Olimpico. I'm just going to pause it so that we can get a good view of the trophy lifting. There we go. Here we go then. We've got five minutes of stoppage time to go. Is it going to be the Champions League to Roma? They're first in their history. We've done it. And there we go. We're lifting the trophy. We're all arms are blazing. Roma's first ever Champions League title. We've beaten Barcelona 2 lit on the light. Thiago Almada with both goals in the game. There's going to be a massive party in Rome tonight. But what a game. What a finish to the season. What a season we've had. Second in Serie A. The Champions League trophy. We ran it close with AC Milan in that as well. Their first trophy. How many more can we win with them going forward? What a season. And I'm looking forward to seeing what monies we have to play with going forward into next year. We'll see if we've got our budgets in yet. We sure have. We've got a little treasure chest of £45 million to go and splash on some strong players and hopefully that will mean we can win silly ah and add to the trophy cabinet. Our first trophy as Roma manager and it's the Champions League. What a team. Thiago Almada, what a hero.
I really hope you've enjoyed that episode. Surely you have. Let's get 15 likes on the video for our Champions League win. Subscribe to the channel for more Football Manager content. And thank you all for coming along and watching.